Hi everyone, this is Luxtos, and today I'm bringing you a quick video guide on how to copy your main character interface over to your alt. Okay, so let's get started. It's actually a pretty easy process, but I think a lot of you uh, have been asking the question, how do I get my chat, my add-ons to look exactly the same as my main characters? Well, I'm going to show you how. Uh, some stuff cannot be copied over, so if you're trying to set up like your interface, your bar, uh, or your RAID profile, those are not stuck uh, on your hard drive in the file. They are server-wise. Um, so someone made an add-on a couple, uh, a couple, maybe a year ago. I think it was in 7.3, uh, but it is not updated as of today for BFA 8.0.1. If it does get updated, I'll make sure to put it down in the comment. But for now, it is not. So if you want to copy over your RAID profile, you're going to have to simply note them down and uh configure them again on your alts it's a bit tedious you can also use an add-on like lvi or something those are going to have profiles uh but for for the default ui it is, it is it is not possible to copy those over so you have to manually edit them and same for like action bars uh, configuration so if you want to have this you simply have to do it manually but for everything else for your chat and for your add-ons it will work so Let's let's get to it. First, you need to exit World of Warcraft because we're going to edit some files. Okay. Then I want you to navigate to your World of Warcraft folder. So go to your PC file, go to your path, and go to World of Warcraft. Then go into the W W T F folder. Sorry about that. Navigate to it, account, and then click on your account folder. For me, it's the first one. If you don't know which one it is, simply navigate through it check for your server and you should start seeing some characters that you actually remember their name and things should start uh, uh coming back so you'll find you'll be able to find which one is the real account okay um there you go so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in the character that i'm trying to configure and i'll delete everything okay i'll delete all the files from there then i'll navigate to my main character which is Luxtos. okay and I'm going to copy some very specific files, okay? You could copy over everything, but you're going to get some problems. So you don't want to copy the macro file because you're going to overwrite. So for example, Luxtos is a rogue. I don't want to have a tricks of the trade macro on my shaman, okay? So simply don't copy those over. And the layout and the chat cache are going to be copied on step two. Because uh, we're simply going to copy for now the com config cache, okay, and the add-on variable, okay? These are going to contain uh, some, some positioning and add-on setting for your character. So only copy, uh, copy those, so save the variable, add-on. So those are, are optional. They might not be there if you're not using any add-ons. But if you see them, select them plus the config cache from your main characters, okay? Copy those, go back to your alt characters paste them in we'll log once so that the uh config cache can go into effect and create some some profile for your characters so that will be just a couple of seconds there you go i'm back on my monk so now uh the add-on configuration should be working okay so everything for your characters uh like uh, my gcd add-on should now be in the right place and everything should be configured properly except my chat which we're gonna do in step two i'm gonna show you how real quick there you go okay so now now if i simply uh use this there you go you see that my add-ons is is working properly it's now at the bottom where it should be and where it is on my main characters and the chat is still at the wrong spot, though. Uh, so there we go. We're going to simply exit game again. This is going to just save the cache in, in the folder and make sure everything is locked in. There you go. It created some new files there. We're going to go back, go into Luxtos, get the chat and layout. Okay, so chat dot, uh, chat cache dot txt and layout local dot txt. Don't get the old one. Get the txt version, copy it. Go back on your alt, paste, replace file. Okay, pretty simple. We're going to wait a couple seconds. Okay, this is done. Let's go back into World of Warcraft. And now the chat should be configured nicely. If you move everything at once, it's not going to work. 
your cache setting is going to overwrite the chat and it's going to get back into the uh, the original default position and everything is uh, you're, you're going to be there standing for a couple of minutes wondering what's going on. So if you only copy those by themselves in a second step, everything should be working. For example, on my main characters, I have a tab called Whisper, which is only my Whisper that I'm getting, which are going to go in a, in a specific tab. You might have one for your guild, your communities, all that stuff. So it's, it's, it's a very nice thing to be able to copy over without having to configure it again. There you go. Okay, so I'll unlock it, and I'll show you that the chat is now a very small window. The, 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 the width that I have it on my rogue so that it fits perfectly at the bottom behind my webcam while I'm streaming and my whisper tab has been configured so everything is working properly okay so i'm just gonna make sure i don't screw that up i'm just gonna put those back in there you go and i'm gonna move that over you have always to click on the general tab if you want to move it and i'll simply lock it down or i can simply copy the frame over from my original uh my original character and have them put in the exact same position so that's pretty much it now your add-ons and your chat and everything else should be configured properly Move anything should be standard across all of your characters and everything else on so your ray profile and your bars. You need to set it up manually or use an add-on that allows you to create profile just like Bartender and LVI and all that stuff. They're going to allow you to create profiles which you will be able to switch or just select on every single alt. So this is it. This was a very small video, but I still hope it was helpful. If it was, uh, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment down below. It helps me a lot. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more content like this one. And you can also come visit me on Twitch. So the link and everything is down below in the description as usual. And until the next video, I'm telling you, good luck in BFA, guys.